Okay, we are going to move deeper into the EXIF tool and basically this is my X directory where I put all my EXIF tool, both of them and I have two pictures inside here uh, one is a picture of myself and another one actually is a piece of artwork and I'm going to use my command prompt Okay, so I'll just show it first all right so both this picture is jpeg all right both of them are actually jpeg picture now the first thing i like to do is actually i want to uh, extract the command separator value of the metadata into such a file into a csv file and exif actually have such a parameter that you can use dot csv and of course maybe followed by the file name that i want to extract jpg where do i want to put it into a file so maybe i will put it into data dot csv okay and i actually have this uh command separator value file csv data and of course i already uh set the property right that all csv file actually will be open using the excel so that's why i can actually just double click it and i'm going to do that just to show you So here you see all the headings, right, and the data inside here. See all the actual right metadata. Okay, so let me just close this, and I'm gonna delete this because I'm gonna do something else. Right, it's similar, but here I actually only extract the metadata into a csv file for only one picture i have actually two of them see both of them are jpeg so you have a limjv.jpeg then protest.jpeg and i can actually use a wildcard like this all right so anything that starts i don't care but it has to end with a dot jpg so it's a star dot jpg uh, you can find this information sorry you can find this information in the normal uh, microsoft window command right how to use wildcard how to use the single character wildcard and let me just execute this right so it tells me that two image file is read because i they found two the same thing happened. I have the data, or right, dot CSV, which I can open using my Excel spreadsheet, and see both of them. So actually, I can extract multiple, right, uh, metadata, right, instead of just extracting one by one. I can actually extract multiple metadata into a CSV file using these simple commands over here. Right. So I hope this actually will help reduce some of the work.